to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i stretch my hair i just finished washing my hair about 15 10 minutes ago and i'm going to be moisturizing it i usually stretch my hair out in different methods i use braids single braids i use twists i use this method once in a while i rarely use a blow dryer the method i'm going to be showing you guys is the african threading method this is what i'm going to be using today this is called Thread. I've had this for about three years with me. So my friend went to Nigeria and when she was coming, I told her to get me like this thread and she got me like a bunch. I don't use them so often, so I still have them left. Most of the time, I just use like one bunch out of like the whole bunch. So now I'm going to take out these. I never, ever, ever leave my hair like this. Never, ever would i even try it because i don't even i don't even attempt wash and go so there's no need for me to leave my hair like this because leaving your pussy hair like this <laughs> if you do it you're very strong but for me i never do it this is my hair fresh out of the shower shrunken i've detangled it so i'm not going to do much so i just want you guys to see the before of what my hair looks like and then when i'm done with this video you guys are going to see the after so this is what the before is looking like so what i'm doing now is i am sectioning it like how i will thread the hair so i'm just making the sections before i start threading and moisturizing okay guys so i'm done this is my hair this is what i'm currently working with i do not care about the parts i just wanted to just get it over and done with so the first step is to moisturize your hair of course you have to moisturize your hair when you moisturize your hair it comes out soft believe me i'm just going to separate the rest of the hair from the section i'm going to be working with okay so i've sectioned i've separated the rest of my hair i'm going to be working with the back section i'm going to go in with my cream i'm not going to be using so much just a very tiny bit not so much and after i use the cream i'm going to go in with the oil i just start from the ends and walk it into the hair down to the roots point number one make sure you detangle your hair thoroughly when your hair is not detangled properly it's not going to stretch out properly i'm going to pick up two strands from the thread so i'm going to grab my hair I'm going to add two extra because it's too short to complete my hair so I always add two extra and then I just continue So this is what it's looking like it's not the best <laughs> but i can work with this definitely i can work with it so i'm just going to do the second part of the back of my head so you guys can see and understand better i'm going to spray some leave-in and then take a very tiny bit of my shea butter mix then oil and i'm going to detangle so i like to bend my neck when i'm starting just so it's not too tight and then my neck is like this if you're nigerian and you grew up in nigeria and you did this remember when you make your hair and you have to like keep your head like this because they cut all the hair on your neck but i don't do that to myself i can't inflict pain on myself no so i'm going to start once again here what i did was i just attached the hair i left some thread and then attached it to my roots and now i'm just going to keep turning the hair around each other trying to make the thread as close to as close to itself as possible or as close to the first turn as possible and when i run out of thread i just add extra to it that's basically what i do My hair is looking like i have about about 12 strands of hair basically what i do is i just put everything to the back so i'm going to take one thread and then just thread 
it loosely to the back that's how i always secure it i'm just going to do like a loose thread just to make sure it's comfortably secured and then i'm going to pick the last one and and then just thread it down to secure everything i don't usually tie this knot but i think i'm going to try tie it because it always unravels or it's unraveling okay so i've tied that down then i'm going to take another thread and do the same to the other side i try not to make it too tight so it doesn't annoy me or irritate my scalp That's how I'm going to leave it, literally. If I want to go out, I'm just going to... And I want to wear a wig, I just wear the wig over it and tuck everything underneath. And that's pretty much it. So I think I'm going to wear this throughout. Honestly, I did not secure the thread very well. So I don't want, like, when I'm sleeping, the thread just comes out of my hair and starts rubbing my neck and then i get scared so this is how i want to secure it i think i'm just going to leave it for only tomorrow because i have a shoot on friday so i'm going to leave it tomorrow and take it down maybe tomorrow evening or friday morning it depends okay so i'm going to see you guys tomorrow or friday I just wanted to come in and show you guys how I keep my hair stretched. I divided it into four and then did single braids on each section and then I just pinned it up. So that's pretty much how I keep my hair stretched. So if I'm going out, if I want to do a video, I'm going to take it out of these braids until maybe I can't roll my hair or I wash it again. So that's pretty much what I do. You can also use wool, but I think it wouldn't be the greatest, but you can use thread you can make it into like four or six strands of like sewing thread and do it that also works and if you want your hair to stretch out really well i would suggest you um maybe after washing your hair you put it in like twist or braids let it dry up then you twist you braid it it's going to look like you blue dried your hair mine didn't look so stretched because first off i did it when it was shrunken and wet so it didn't have time to dry being low porosity and i took it out like the next day approximately um make sure you allow your hair dry first and then make the um, african threading and i'm very sure 100 percent sure that your hair is going to look like you blue dried it i've come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye